Okay. So this presentation is about remote sensing application in forest management to optimize uh, forest uh, functions. Uh, but first uh, of all, I would just say a few words about the concept of forest management, which refers to the process of planning and executing the practices for the administration and use of forest and other woody land with the objective of meeting specific environmental, economic, social, and cultural objectives. In other words, forest management refers to the management of forests in accordance with the principles of sustainable development. Uh, there is a wrong pe perception about uh, forestry, public perception of forestry and foresters, uh, which are usually considered as someone who just felling and cutting the, the trees. But this is a far away from the truth. truth. Uh, sustainable forest management is all about ecological values, social, cultural values, and economic uh, values. So all these aspects are equally represented in the sustainable forest management. And uh, uh, also to the forest are related ecosystem services uh, like uh, water purification, carbon sequestration, provision of food, fiber, and fuel, uh, habitat for organisms, and many other uh, ecosystem services. These ecosystem services in the forestry, in the forestry are known as forest functions. Actually, these are demands uh, of society toward the forests. <coughs> and the, the position of uh, forest manager is uh, very difficult in, in that sense. Uh, forest manager must organize uh, uh, forest management in a way to, to fulfill all these demands, or at least the most of them. Uh, the situation is more uh, complex when we take into account the climate change. Climate change is increasing the frequency, intensity, and the magnitude of disasters, leading to a higher number of deaths, injuries, and increased economic losses. This is especially reflected to the forest, and, uh, and at these uh, pictures, there are some examples of uh, negative effects of climate change. In the past 20 years, 90% of major disasters have been caused by weather-related events such as heat waves, storms, floods, and droughts, according to the United Nations Office. We need to increase uh, resilience to disasters and climate change, and on the other side, decrease vulnerability uh, of forests and ecosystems. Uh, on this map, uh, uh, you can see uh, the, the forest area which is managed by public enterprise where I am coming from, this is area of Vojvodina with very low percentage of uh, forests, only 71.1 of the total uh, area is forest, forested. And uh, uh, this means that uh, uh, forest has even more value uh, for that region because there are not so much of uh, forest. Face all and to cope with uh, all these uh, uh, pro problems and uh, uh, challenges, we uh, we are using in our enterprise a range of technologies and a range of earth observation data, like orthophotos, uh, satellite images, drones, which are also used for the collection of uh, uh, orthophotos and uh, near infrared orthophotos. Uh, then we use specific softwares for the uh, classification of uh, uh, remote, remotely sensed data, etc. Uh, all this we are using to monitor. Uh, one important aspect is the monitoring of disturbances. Uh, generally, uh, consistent high frequent information on disturbances is missing on the uh, uh, larger uh, level, larger scale. Uh, the need is emphasized by the Green Paper, by the Standing Forestry Committee, and in the EU forest strategy. Types of disturbances which are monitored uh, are fire, storm, drought, biotic damages, significant harvesting operation. Source are aerial photography, satellite images, and result is damage indication map. It is important that uh, we monitor through the period of time, so we need uh, frequently uh, uh, to have uh, uh, frequent uh, uh, images from the different period of uh, time. In our company, we also use uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, satellite images and uh, orthophotos to uh, 
have information about damage caused by wind, by climate change, forest diebacks, uh, and also damages caused by uh, recent fires. So uh, why we use uh, that? Because uh, this is, uh, uh, we decrease the cost of collection of data, we uh, increase accuracy of data uh, collected, uh, and we, we are able to get some uh, additional information. And what is the most important, we are able to uh, respond quickly uh, to, to get information uh, uh, very uh, uh, quickly uh, uh, in opposite if we do this on some other way, on, on classic way uh, uh, with field with field work. Uh, just a few uh, final remarks. Good decision require a good information for the planning, monitoring, reviewing at all levels, local to national uh, to global. And we uh, need to, to do adaptive management, uh, sustainable forest management, uh, respecting uh, criteria and indicators for sustainable forest management. And we need uh, a multi-stakeholder approach so that all uh, stakeholders uh, uh, are uh, taken into account during the uh, forest management. Uh, and just last uh, slide uh, on the Copernicus program, although it was mentioned uh, in an earlier uh, session, uh, there are a lot of freely available uh, data. Uh, I would uh, emphasize tree cover density and, and the uh, forest type with high resolution layer with two additional products, tree cover presence and dominant leaf uh, type. This is, uh, these products are being produced in 25 meters, special resolution. So this is not for the operational work, but for the larger scale projects uh, are very uh, good at data. And uh, our company also participated in some international projects and we use uh, uh, this uh, data for that purposes. And I would recommend to use this 